Blue Eye Samurai is an adult animated action series that premiered on Netflix on November 3rd, 2023. It is created and written by Michael Green and Amber Noizumi and co produced and animated by the French studio Blue Spirit. The series follows Mizu, a mixed race master of the sword who lives a life in disguise while seeking revenge in Edo period Japan. The voice cast includes Maya Erskine, George Takei, Masi Oka, Randall Park, Kerry Hiroyuki. Tagawa, Brenda Song, and Kenneth Branagh. The series has received positive reviews from critics and audiences and has been nominated for seven awards. The plot of Blue Eye Samurai is as follows. Mizu, a female mixed-race blue-eyed samurai, disguises herself as a man to seek revenge against four white men who illegally remained in Japan during the Edo period and made her an outcast. One of them might be her father, who killed her mother. Along the way, she meets Ringo, a handless cook who becomes her companion, and Taigen, a rival swordsman who challenges her. She also crosses paths with Princess Akemi, a rebellious noblewoman who wants to escape her arranged marriage. Mizu's quest leads her to Fowler, an Irish smuggler who plans to overthrow the shogun and open Japan to foreign influence. Mizu must face her enemies and her past while finding her true identity and destiny. The main characters in Blue Eyed Samurai are Mizu, a female mixed race blue eyed samurai who disguises herself as a man to seek revenge against four men who made her an outcast. She is voiced by Maya Erskine. Lingo, an overeager loyal soba maker who leaves his father to apprentice with Mizu and guide her on her quest for revenge. He yearns to be a great samurai despite being born with no hands. He is voiced by Masi Oka. Taigen, a chiseled samurai revered as an undefeated warrior until Mizu bests him at his dojo and ruins his engagement to Akemi. He is voiced by Darren Barnett. Akemi, a rebellious princess who wants to escape her arranged marriage to Taigen and live a life of adventure. She is voiced by Brenda Song. Seki, a wise and kind old man who took Mizu in as a child and taught her how to forge and wield swords. He is voiced by George Takei. Fowler, an Irish smuggler who plans to overthrow the shogun and open Japan to foreign influence. He is one of the four white men who made Mizu a creature of shame. He is voiced by Kenneth Branagh. Heiji Shindo, a cunning and ambitious politician who serves as the shogun's advisor. He is voiced by Randall Park. The Sword Maker, a mysterious and powerful swordsman who is rumored to be the greatest samurai in Japan. He is voiced by Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. Let's take a look at Blue Eye Samurai through the lens of Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. 1. The Ordinary World Mizu lives a life of disguise as a male samurai in Edo period Japan, where she faces discrimination and prejudice as a mixed-race woman. She works as a bodyguard for a wealthy lord and secretly seeks revenge against four white men who made her an outcast. 2. The Call to Adventure Mizu receives a letter from a mysterious woman who claims to know her true identity and offers her a clue to find one of her enemies. She also learns that her mentor, Master Eiji, is in danger from the same enemy. 3. Refusal of the Call Mizu hesitates to accept the letter, fearing that it might be a trap or a lie. She also feels loyal to her lord and reluctant to leave her familiar world. She decides to ignore the letter and focus on her current job. 4. Meeting the Mentor Mizu visits Master Eiji, who encourages her to follow her destiny and pursue her quest. He gives her a special sword that he forged for her and tells her to trust her instincts. He also warns her of the dangers and temptations that await her in the unknown world. 5. Crossing the Threshold Mizu decides to accept the call and leaves her lord's service. 
She follows the clue in the letter and travels to a remote village where she meets Ringo, a handless cook who becomes her loyal companion. She also encounters Fowler, one of the white men she seeks, who is the leader of a gang of smugglers and bandits. Six tests allies and enemies. Mizu faces a series of trials and challenges as she pursues Fowler and his gang across the land. She fights against bandits, ninjas, and rival samurai, as well as her own inner conflicts and doubts. She also meets allies, such as Princess Akemi, a rebellious noblewoman who joins her cause, and Seki, Akemi's tutor, who provides her with the wisdom and guidance. 7. The Approach Mizu prepares for the final and most difficult challenge, which is to infiltrate Fowler's castle and confront him. She devises a plan with her allies and disguises herself as a geisha. She faces setbacks and failures along the way, such as being betrayed by one of her allies and captured by Fowler's men. 8. The Ordeal Mizu confronts her greatest fear and enemy, which is Fowler himself. She learns that he is her biological father and that he was the one who ordered the death of her mother. She also discovers that he is allied with the Shogun, who is the mastermind behind her suffering and the one who wants to open Japan to foreign influence. She manages to defeat Fowler but is wounded and captured by the Shogun's forces. 9. The Reward Mizu succeeds in the ordeal and obtains the reward she sought, which is revenge. She also experiences a transformation and a revelation as she realizes that her quest was not only about vengeance, but also about finding her true self and her place in the world. She also gains a new family and a new purpose as she becomes the leader of a rebellion against the Shogun. 10. The Return Mizu returns to her ordinary world either willingly or reluctantly with the reward she gained. She faces resistance and opposition from those who do not want her to return or share the reward, such as the Shogun and his loyalists. She also has to decide whether to remain in her ordinary world or go back to the unknown world, where she has a new mission and a new adventure. According to the creators of Blue Eye Samurai, Michael Green and Amber Noizumi, the series was inspired by various sources, such as their own daughter's blue eyes, the experiences of a woman in Hollywood, the Clint Eastwood archetype, and the film Lady Snowblood. One of the main inspirations for the series was the 1983 musical Yentl starring Barbara Streisand, which tells the story of a Jewish woman who disguises herself as a man to study the Torah. Noizumi said that both Mizu and Yentl are concealed women living in a world where men dominate everyday life, and they seek freedom and choices through their disguise. Another inspiration for the series was the real-life story of William Adams, an English navigator who became the first Western samurai in Japan during the Edo period. Adams had blue eyes and was respected by the shogun for his knowledge and skills. He also faced challenges and conflicts due to his foreign origin and influence. The creators said that Adams' story was similar to Mizu's, who is also a blue eye samurai and an outsider in Japan. The creators also drew inspiration from the genre classics of samurai cinema, such as Lady Snowblood, which features a female protagonist who seeks revenge for her family's murder. The series also pays homage to the Clint Eastwood archetype of the lone gunslinger, who is a mysterious and stoic hero with a troubled past. The creators said that they wanted to create a character who is both badass and vulnerable, and who can appeal to a wide audience. I, for one, absolutely love Blue Eyes Samurai. As a martial arts story, a historically based drama and adventure, and a tale of not just seeking revenge and the heavy costs it will take on those who pursue it, but dealing with a world not so much different from our own, in that it makes everyone within eventually lonely and heartbroken. Drenched in blood and risen from the ashes, Blue Eye Samurai is ultimately a heroic journey full of twists and turns, but leading towards forging one's inner spirit into a straight-edged katana blade to cut through the darkest parts of ourselves. What did you think of Blue Eye Samurai? Are you eagerly anticipating the next season in the series? Share your thoughts, comments, and theories on the further adventures of the Blue Eye Samurai universe. Thank you for visiting the Right Table. Best wishes to you 
and have a great day.